is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to click on this reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then the reading may have a message for you and it's for you, okay? So, I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So, let's get into the reading. Okay, y'all. As always, take only the messages that resonate with you. Leave the other messages for someone else, okay? If the reading resonates, cool. If it doesn't, let it fly. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? So, let's get into the reading. Yowza! Okay, then. So, as a split the deck, we have that their word that card and the world card okay mm. all right divine holy spirit what romantic love messages do you have for libra sun moon rising and venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this reading if y'all like reading about stories of Interesting stories, I put in. <laughs> Why don't y'all check out my book, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal? It's available for purchase on all platforms in paperback and ebook copy. It is an interesting read, I promise you that. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. Cut the deck. Three ways. Okay, what we got there? The food card. Mm. The king of swords. Okay, then. We got the lovers. We got the six of wands. We got the hierophant. We got the hangman. We got the ten of pentacles. The five of wands. And the nine of pentacles. Okay. <laughs> Conflicted is right. Two of swords. Um, It's like y'all don't know what to do in a, about a particular situation. You could have new love. You could have a new beginning with someone, but they might not be your exact type. And my thing is, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you always got, okay? So maybe this person is a little bit nerdy and you like hunk, so whatever the case may be. Take it how it resonates for you. But I do feel like you have a new beginning. I feel like y'all walked away from someone who was very um, cold and calculating in the past. They didn't care how they spoke to you. They didn't care how they treated you. They thought they were saying things that were true to you, but they were cold. Okay. And you might have needed some one replacements that didn't match certain aspects of you like that. You needed someone who was more softer to you. I feel like you dealt with that person in the past. You made a choice. That's Gemini energy um, to deal with someone because you knew that they were a soulmate of yours. Okay. We have all types of soulmates. Okay. Um, for some of y'all, y'all might have confused them as a um, <laughs> good karmic soulmate. And y'all remember when I split the deck, there was the, um, the devil card in there as well. Okay. And that shows a karmic tie as well in that card. And I believe they were karmic and you were confusing them for your forever person, okay? For your forever soulmate, if you believe in that, okay? I feel like for some of y'all, y'all made the choice to stay. For some of y'all, you're making the choice to go. Whatever it is, you're going to be okay. But I feel like y'all are going to be going back and forth questioning yourselves. It's like, okay, this person makes you feel like on, on top of the world, like you're uh, the best thing since sliced bread, six of wands. Like y'all can build together, like y'all can have a future to get together, that you're spiritually connected. That's because y'all are. Um, with the higher front there, that's Taurus energy. They might be a Taurus, take care of resonates. But there are other times on the other end of the spectrum in this relationship that they make you feel like, what the heck? They make you question your sanity. They make you question why you're with them. They make you question why you why you're with them is like you're in a place in your life where you have no direction you don't know what you want out of life for some of y'all and you're really questioning that you want to build something with them you want to have the ten of pentacles but it's like they're fighting you to get it for some of y'all um 
you might be fighting yourself with a new person because this person's not your type and you feeling like you couldn't build something with them but for others of y'all i feel like you were fighting someone in the past you gave them opportunity to uh be with you and it's like they kept doing things that made you question yourself and question why you were trying to build with them question why you put up with their junk their drama five of ones and for some of y'all y'all gonna <laughs> you're gonna be sitting pretty like this that's the nine of pentacles that's the emperor or the empress before they really find the one that is for them um, I feel like at one point you saw this person as the lowest energy, even though they had some karmic, <laughs> how I like to say it, the karmic -y ways, karmic-like ways. Um, and you tried to build with this particular person or people, take it how it resonates for you. But it's like y'all had too much going on, too much fighting, too many arguments. It's like you would say, well, let's go do this. And they would be very defiant, like a defiant teenage child. Like, I don't want to do this just because you want to do it, even though it might have been the right thing to do, whatever it is. Like I said, a very cold energy. And I feel like now it's like, you like, should I stay with this person? Should I go? I don't know what to do. For some of y'all, you might stay with them. But uh, others of y'all, like I said, you might leave and go on and get your, your ten of pentacles, your ten of cups and everything that you want. Um, or you might stay by yourself and build up your own empire until you can find someone that you truly, truly desire. Uh, but for some of y'all, it's like y'all been through, like, drug through the mud, I want to say. Uh, whether it's spiritually or emotionally, for some of y'all, I hope God, not physically, okay? But I feel like this person has always had you questioning the connection. You're thinking it's the lovers, but it might be a little bit of the lovers, and that devil karmic energy stuff. And you like, but I just want them to see me how I see them. That ain't how I go, baby. Because if they were really the true person for you, they would see you in your, all your divine glory. I just heard. They would see you for who you truly were. The, the awesome person that you are. But it's like this person, it's like, here's the way I would put it. It's like, the kid who doesn't value the toy that he or she has until someone else picks it up and goes to playing with it. Meanwhile, they got you all confused and discombobulated. But if you were to move on, they'll be looking at you like, oh, they really have value. That kind of energy, like that petty, Betty, petty Bob type energy. Like they really won rocking with you like that. They were like dealing with you. But they didn't want the commitment like you wanted. They were always arguing, fussing, and fighting with you. They knew you had some value, but they weren't really ready to invest in you like you were ready to invest in them. And that's where the conflict and the confusion came in. Okay? Because they were kind of, ain't no kind of in it. They were sending you mixed signals. Okay? That's just what it is. Okay. Spirit, please help me to wrap up this reading for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Libra placements. Messages for Libra placements. Spirit. Chat. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> okay. What we got here? Mm-hmm. Y'all missed chances. Have you considered all your options? Did you give it everything? In the end, we only regret the chances that we didn't take. You took a chance, but for for you, for them, you're a missed chance. They could have had something great with you. Y'all had some chemistry. You were trying to build with them, but it's like they were child. They were fighting you at every end. Okay, that's too many came out at one time. I don't know what to tell you about that one. It's like, uh, you ready for new love, but you confused. You started thinking about this person from the past, ready for love. You've been understandably guarded, scared of being hurt again, but you took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. That's that nine of pentacles energy. You ready to get back out there and give it a go for some of y'all? You were a mischance for that person and they didn't see 
the beautiful or handsome person that was standing right in front of them. <laughs> For some of y'all in this future uh, relationship, family and friends will be important. Uh, the support of family and friends may help strengthen this new connection. Someone you're going to build the Ten of Pentacles with in the future. This person will be your life partner in the future. Something you were trying to build with someone in the past. They, um, they didn't see your value. They didn't see that they could have a life partner. They didn't see that you were sent to them as a blessing. And well, you were sent to each other as a blessing. They fought you every step of the way. But I feel like this new person will see your value, will know your worth, will want to build the Ten of Pentacles with you. They see you as the Nine of Pentacles, whether you be not the mm, <laughs> Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine. They don't want conflict. They want to build with you. And I feel like you're going to have a deep connection with them and vice versa. And your family and friends are going to be key in keeping the relationship together and growing on all accords. Okay. But you're going to get out of this. Like I said, that two of swords energy with the person of the past, you're going to leave that alone for some of y'all and you're going to move forward to good karmic energy, okay? Wow. All right. So that is all I have for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.